Welcome to Fantasy Alarm TV, everybody. I'm Ray Flower. No, I'm Jeff Manns. He's Ray Flowers, the Oracle himself. Ray, how are you doing this afternoon, man? I'm doing pretty good, Jeff. You want to be me that bad? I mean, really? I mean, was that a, a Freudian slip? I do. Or well, I, listen. To, when I try to use a lot of restaurant checks, I always tell them I'm Ray Flowers. And I usually get you know somebody else will pick up the bill. Nevertheless, Ray, the right only here. time I don't want to be you is on the FantasyAlarm.com comment section of our articles, specifically the Jorge Solar Prospect Report that I wrote about a couple weeks back. You've been taking a beating on this article. Ray, they're, telling, they're saying that you don't take on enough risk, that you are too conservative, that you don't like any prospect ever. How do you respond to these allegations? It's wrong. Uh, and I'm used to it at this point, people taking things I say out of context or reading into something that I've written or said when I didn't actually write or say what they think. It's not that I'm against taking risk. It's not that I'm against going with, let's say, a rookie or a guy with you know, 250 at-bats or 57 innings pitched. That's not the issue. The issue is the cost on draft day, Jeff. And what we see with guys like Chris Bryan or Soler or any of these younger players is people willing to project out things that they have no idea if that's accurate. So what they end up doing is they end up taking that guy in the fifth round, the sixth round, and that's too risky for me. It's not that I don't want the player. It's not that I don't like the player. It's that if I take him in the 12th round or the 15th round, great. If I get to take a rookie in the 25th round, okay, yeah. I'll take that risk. But I'm not going to spend an early round pick like everyone is so willing to do on players that we simply have no idea about because what people forget, and what? they always overlook this, Jeff, is that the majority of young players – Fail to live up to expectations at the start of their career. Just look at what happened with Gregory Polanco last year. How Great dare you? I weeks. love Gregory Total Polanco. Disaster. Uh, what about this, Ray? Can you can you win a, a league like the NFBC without taking any risk? That's a question somebody posed, and I thought that was an interesting uh, comment. Yeah, you, you can win without taking risk, but let's face it, everyone's taking a risk. I mean, is Adam Wainwright a like, risk? Because of his health concerns, I think a lot of people. Do you would say take yes. on more now, Ray? Taking, do you take on more risk with your dating life or your, your fantasy baseball team? Oh, my dating life. Yeah, this um, is true, ladies and gentlemen. I, I happen to know this is well, true. Yeah, and I have no choice because apparently every woman I meet has got some kind of major life changing event that they have dealt with at some point that now is going to affect. Women me. have baggage. So I'm not willing to take on. They that have risk. baggage. That's <laughs> for sure. Well. Pick up, bit, fantasy, like <laughs> pick up the fan, like for, pick up the fantasy alarm, fantasy baseball draft guide, fantasyalarm.com forward slash winning. Get it for free. Find out how over there for Ray Flowers. This has been Jeff Manns on Fantasy Alarm TV.